back to my channel. This is TBI Studios and today we're going to talk about the seventh chord. There are many different types of seventh chords. We're going to be going over the major seventh, minor seventh, dominant seventh, half diminished seventh, and fully diminished seventh. So that's five different seventh chords. I'm going to explain to you how to build them on the whiteboard and then also play them on the piano for you to hear. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. I make new videos every Sunday and Wednesday. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So like I said in my intro, we are gonna be talking about five different seventh chords. The first one we're gonna talk about is a major seventh chord. So I'm just gonna be starting on C for all of these seventh chords. So let's go over a major seventh. First we build a major triad. So C major looks like this. C, E, G. And whatever the seventh note of the C major scale is, we're gonna add it up here to get a B natural. So C, E, G, B. So that's your C major seventh chord. The triangle means it's a major seventh. Here's C major seven. So now we're gonna go to a dominant seventh. So dominant means we have a major triad and add a flat seventh onto it. So we do C major, which is C, E, G, we add the seven and we put a flat on it. So this is regular C7. So C7 looks like this, C, E, G, B flat. Here is C dominant seven. We're gonna do a minor seventh chord. So a minor seventh chord has a minor triad and then a flatted seven. So C minor. is E flat and then B flat. So do you see how only one note is changing in each of these seventh chords? So C minor seven looks like that, a little dash. Here is C minor seven. Now we're gonna go over a half diminished seventh chord. We're going to find a diminished triad and then add the seventh, the flatted seventh that has been in these last two to that one. So a diminished is two minor thirds, which is C to E flat to G flat, and then the minor seventh, which is B flat. And that triad looks like this on the piano. And then we go half diminished is a circle with a line through it. Here is C half diminished seven. And then finally, we're gonna be talking about fully diminished seventh chord. So we need all of the intervals are a minor third up. So if we start on C, the next one is E flat, G flat, and then B double flat. So that looks like this. So B double flat is just flatted twice, so one, two, and that looks like that. And here is C fully diminished seven. Okay, so in order for you to be able to play seventh chords on any note, you have to know if the triad is major or minor or diminished and then you have to know what the seventh is. So we can see in the C major chord, our seventh is a major seventh interval. You can see in C7 that our seventh is a minor and it's minor in the minor seventh and the half diminished chord as well. So three of them have a flatted seventh and one of them has a diminished seventh. So double flat. So one of them has a double flat seven. So C major has a major triad plus major seventh interval. C 
C7 has a major triad and a flat seven. C minor seven has a minor triad and a flatted seventh. C half diminished has a diminished triad and a flatted seventh. A fully diminished seventh chord has a diminished triad and a double flat seventh. Okay, so as long as you know your key signatures and your scales, you can pretty much figure out any seventh chord on the piano. So that was my explanation of seventh chords. I hope you learned something. Seventh chords are amazing because the sound it creates when you play more than three note harmonies. If you liked this video, go ahead and smash the like button, give it a thumbs up, Comment below what you liked about the video or what ideas you want me to cover and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!